talk about when you see from the eyes the situation and not from the heart and when you see from that same situation from the heart how different it can be so i'm going to give you an example um the, the first example i'm going to give you two first example is that all of last year i wanted me and my husband wanted to move into a bigger house we wanted to move into a bigger home um, because we had no space we had no garden and we were totally fed up with not having that and so we did everything possible to try and find a bigger place to live in and we couldn't find anything uh, somewhere with two bedrooms and a garden where they'd have our cats and continuously continuously looking barrier after barrier after barrier after barrier from the body's eyes it was like we're never going to move we're never going to have anything this is awful everything hates us they don't want us because we've got cats and we're poor whatever however today i sat there in this allotment quarter of an acre of land that we've been given to garden to relax in to, to just be at home in beautiful I was lying there and my husband said something to me and suddenly I saw from the heart why we weren't able to move. You see, something up there knew what was coming. Something up there obviously knows what's coming. And it was basically, it knew that if we had moved, we would have moved out of this parish council and we would not have been offered this piece of land for the amount of money that we got it for the year and I suddenly thought oh my god does that mean that everything when you see it from the heart if I had trusted that something was protecting us and loving us and knew better than us I would never have got upset I would have trusted my father called it the hand of God he called it the hand of God and another example was years and years ago we lived in a uh, up, upstairs downstairs house and the landlord asked us to leave after eight years because he wanted it back I was devastated we couldn't find anything anywhere eventually we found this great bungalow a bungalow now you see upstairs downstairs a bungalow and they did uh, they fought for us and we got this place a year later I had an accident I was in a wheelchair could it be that that power that creator, that love that takes care of us, that beings of light that are actually waking up humanity and giving us the world that we deserve. Could it be that they knew something was going to happen to me and therefore they protected me? Could it be that something is protecting us and helping us grow and let go of the old system so we can have the Sarah and the Sarah? Could it be that incredible world, utopian world is coming where we all get what we deserve at long last and have a wonderful life, but we're not ready yet? You cannot plant a beautiful garden on dead roots. You have to take the roots up. That is heart vision when you see from the heart. You cannot create a baby in a toxic, a healthy baby cannot be conceived if the mother is totally toxic, if the body is unwell and toxic, there's very small chance that that mother will conceive a healthy baby. Doesn't it make sense? That's when you see from the heart. Love you lots, have a beautiful day. I've just done an incredible interview with Steve Goff, uh, one of my mentors, uh, patron of Moving On Theatre, BAFTA winning director, Unity. Uh, worker. Looking forward to putting that out in the arts show. Come on board Movie on TV. Please subscribe, like, share, sponsor us, or book a tarot reading for me because that will pay as well. Take care, lots of love. Bye.